G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, Adam, he did it again. He got everything totally backwards. Essentially the US Air Force is going to shoot down the International Space Station through practical reference. First clip is a little short clip discussing the suit the pilots of the U-2 spy plane wear. Friends. So let's have a look at the first clip. Oh wait Adam, before you do this you big doofus, let's just have a look everybody and see what Adam left out. Because I'm sure, as he didn't provide the uh, link to the original source video in the description, there must be something he didn't want us or his subs to see. So Adam, let's see what you left out. Well Adam, because you didn't address this, it really must have been condemning and you seem to know this yourself. Well that was a dopey move wasn't it Adam, because pretty much everything else you say from here on is going to be coloured by the curve that you didn't want anyone to see. Oh, Adam, what a mistake at Omega. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. If, by instance, they were flying at the altitudes that they fly at, and they would open their helmet up to, like, scratch their nose, if at that instant they were to lose cabin pressure, the blood in their body would instantaneously boil and be instantaneous death. So we have... Yeah, that wouldn't be a good day at the office. So, essentially, they fly a service seat in height for the U-2 spy plane is approximately 70,000 feet. Plane flies just over 400 miles an hour. Okay, just to give you some idea of the circumstances. And if the plane was to lose cabin pressure, as the pilot had had his visor up, scratching his nose or whatever, his blood would boil instantly. Okay, let that just sink in. Now he's saying that the UASF were debunking the ISS, but actually I think it's the other way around. Now if Adam had done a little bit of research, he would have realized that perhaps the UAS Air Force um, instructor was just overemphasizing his point to impress upon the new students just a little bit. Anyway, I've covered this point many a times a long time ago. I'm just going to play that because I'm lazy. Here you go, guys. Enjoy this. I actually did do a little bit of research. A couple of papers. Adam, he looked at a video. Sorry, Adam. Everyone else, enjoy this. Oh, and remember, if you're ever in an airlock and about to be spaced, Drop your pants. What's up, Wiley? And if you want to know why, stay listening. Would you like a hug? No. Space, says the introduction to the Hitchhiker's Guide, is big. Really big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is, uh, and so on. Okay, so from my extensive study, using the at least these three videos in the link below, and they are really excellent ones on this subject, I have determined that what will happen is you will suffer a Mentos in Coca-Cola effect from both ends of the elementary canal at the moment you hit the vacuum of space, and that's hence why you need to get your pants down real quick, and of course breathe out because the air is going to disappear out your lungs real quick too so it seems like you've got like 15 seconds before you pass out so you've got to hurry up with all of those things and from the research on some of these poor doggies and chimps and whatever else there's a couple of accidents that have happened it seems like you've got somewhere between about 90 seconds and three minutes to be repressurized and if you are apart from a few broken capillaries in your eyes and a few space hickeys you're probably going to be pretty much okay. I don't even know what to do. You have a whole series of O-rings in here and a shaft that you rotate. So, that, I mean, like on the space station, how many of these would you have? Uh, seven, because we have seven windows. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. You just, just look at that face. Then you have a leak. He hasn't got a clue. Bearing in mind, the U-2 pilot doing 400 mile an hour at 70,000 feet. If he had a leak and his, he didn't wear a protective suit like the people supposedly on the ISS don't, his blood would boil instantly. <coughs> Strange that all those miles up, supposedly orbiting a ball at an altitude of 245 miles with speeds of 17,000 500 miles an hour if you have a leak it's not an issue
Uh, seven, because we have seven windows. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. You just have a leak. And, 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 and what you, you would do you is... You lose air. Yeah, you would probably seal the whole cupola off. And then uh, there's probably a plan, I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan for replacing the, the mechanism. It might require a spacewalk. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. Particularly given the fact the U-2 pilot's blood would boil without his spacesuit on. These clowns are supposedly doing ludicrous speeds. Prepare ship for light speed! No, 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 light speed is too slow. Light speed too slow? Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> My question is, why did NASA choose you as a frontman? Was it because of mockery? Probably, because you're not convincing, you're rather dopey. And just to show you how dopey this clown is, if this wasn't bad enough, him exposing the ISS for the fraud that it is, this man is stupid enough to put his name to this. Bear with me. This is supposedly a space photography. Look at the state of it. Look. This is all taken by Dopey. What can I say about Adam slamming Don Petter? Dopey? Of course. Look, I thought, Adam, you would know what it's like to be picked on all the time. I mean to say, how many times do the other kids call you corner boy or say, hold my book, Adam? I don't even know what to do. Now, Don Pettit, he is actually the go-to guy for all space photography, after all. Uh, many of those that you see have been done uh, uh, in this uh, module uh, when I was uh, at the home of the He's camera. the junk. Let me just say it that way. You're the junk when it comes to space photography, right? Can you say that? Say I'm the junk? No, I can't say that because I just all right, so, I get too uh, embarrassed. I guess if I look into Adam's comments, there will be heaps of attaboys piling onto Don Pettit, won't there? Oh yes, here's one, here's another, three, four, here's another, five, six, seven. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. Now, Don understands so much about space photography, whereas Adam struggles even with the focal length of a camera. I don't even know what to do. Time and time again, he fails on that one. I was quite happy to cash in off the back of these CGI looking images as supposedly real space photography. He's obviously stupid putting his name to this. He has to be. And of course, then we look at the footage. He is. He's quite clearly stupid. And so is anyone that believes this tosh at this point in time. Oh dear. Don mastered the space star trail images a long time ago. I made one myself from a set of images taken by Christina Cog. I downloaded hundreds of these images from NASA. And when you put the images together to look like a video, it looks like this. And when you do it like a star trail, it looks like this. You know, one day someone's just going to believe something so absolutely stupid and the fall of that tower is going to be great. So before it's you, I think you better start checking everything you're told because you guys just cannot check for the life of you. Now, Adam, I'm assuming your head is spinning at about 17,500 miles an hour right about now. I don't even know what to do.